pick this up? Wow. That's a clean ride. Now you get yourself another alternative asset. Yes, I do. As do you. So I'm here at Walla Walla State Park in Wenatchee, Washington. My name is Jake Carpenter. I'm the Vice President of Equilist Capital Partners. And I'm here with Joel Frank, our Managing Principal and Founder of Equilist Capital Partners. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our alternative assets, one of which is collector cars. So Joel and I both are owners of collector cars, and we have a variety of different clients that also own alternative assets, such as collector cars. So Joel, why don't you talk to us a little bit about alternative assets and how they can be a great tool to not only diversify, but give you some benefits in the future. Well, I think uh, the great thing about having it is uh, alternative asset is it's kind of something you can enjoy. It can uh, create value over the long run, uh, appreciate in value, and uh, there's tax benefits as well. And so. It's something that um, I think a lot of people that uh, don't understand how they work, but they can have them in their portfolio, in a diversified portfolio, and they can work really well. Um, just um, perfect examples are classic cars. Uh, we get some ta great tax benefits from these. Uh, they appreciate in value over time, and uh, yet um, we can still use it as an income stream uh, later on. So one of the things that attracted me specifically to collect your cars is, as Joel mentioned, your family can use it. Uh, it's something you can enjoy. You can get some use out of it, and it doesn't lose value. Now, one of the issues that our clients have is that over time, after they've used these alternative assets for, uh, you know, for different kinds of benefits and, and that they appreciate quite a bit over time, uh, one of the major things that comes along with that is when they get ready to sell those assets, they have something called capital gains tax. And that's, that's true whether you have collector cars or whether you have a, a collection of motorcycles or, or any highly appreciated asset. It could be a business, it could be a farm, or it could be real estate as well. So talk to us a little bit about how our clients specifically would address capital gains tax. Well, more uh, capital gains really are kind of embedded into the real estate or business. We quite see it in business, real estate, farms, as you mentioned, that they've held the asset for a number of years and they've taken the depreciation out of it. When they go to sell it, they could have up to um, over 24% capital gains tax liability with it. So we've got uh, several tools that we structure uh, through IRS codes. Um, that can defer the capital gains that help us manage the capital gains and their benefit where when they want to sell the asset they can take the monies and actually put them back to work uh, right away instead of giving them to Uncle Sam. Not that the tax liability goes away, it's just that we're managing the tax liability and then uh, they can use the asset and have a, a good income out of the asset and, and not have the uh, tax liability to be paid immediately. So this is important to understand that whether your alternative asset is a collector car that you can enjoy for quite a few years and then when you decide to sell it, it's appreciated in value over time even though you've used it. This could be true with a business that you've enjoyed building up and, and uh, you know enjoying and, and creating income over the years. It could be a farm, it could be a highly appreciated real estate. But when the time comes to sell, you need to know what your options are to defer that capital gains tax bill, put that bill back in your pocket to generate more income and growth, as well as tax advantages. So those are things that here at Equilos Capital Partners, we specialize in those different strategies to capture that growth, capture that appreciation, defer the tax bill, put it back in your pocket to generate more income and more growth in the future retaining those tax advantages. So if you have any more questions or you wanna know what your options are, whether it be collector cars or whether it be highly appreciated business, real estate or farm, contact us and we'd be happy to visit with you more. All right, thanks Jake.